am Ty. And I'm Amy. And we're two teachers trying to make some side money doing side hustles. It is no secret that teachers do not make enough money. And we've been trying out some different things. We both work multiple jobs. We've decided this might be a way that we can be home and do things together that we like doing because we've been flipping furniture for ourselves. Yeah, you can see the hutch behind us. We did this. This was a $35 pickup that we got and we turned it into this and it's great every time we have family members or people friends over um they always comment on how they like it so the light bulb went off maybe we should do this for some side money we always do better with a measurable attainable goal so our goal that we're starting out with is to pay a daycare bill where we are it's 250 to 300 dollars a week that's our goal to start is we want to see how much daycare we can cover by doing this fun thing together. Uh, we had our first daughter last year, a few months ago. We got another surprise that we were having our second daughter. So we're super excited about that, but also along with that comes a lot of financial obligation. That paying daycare is a huge one. So our goal for this month is $1,300. Yesterday we picked up a matching dresser in nightstand for $40. We're going to take those. They're, they're pretty old. They don't look great. We're going to make them look brand new and sell them again on Marketplace for profit. So um, come along with us and see how we flip it. And then also at the very end, you'll be able to see our profit from this flip and then all of our future flips. So make sure to subscribe, like this video. That really helps us out and helps us uh, reach more people. Every good day starts off with a good breakfast. We're going to pick up a dresser and nightstand that we got for like 20 bucks each on marketplace and then we're going to go get some paint some paint couture here we go heading to Cramerton North Carolina As you can see with this nightstand, but we're missing handles down here. So um, we're going to take the hardware off. And whenever you're taking your hardware off, always keep it together. So we're going to put it together in the Ziploc bag. Um, but we're going to figure out something different with this, uh, with these handles down here. Um, there's a store here in Charlotte that has um, some hardware like this. So we may be able to find some to replace it. If not, we might just go with completely new hardware all together and fill in the holes. So we'll update you on that as soon as we get further into the project. So here I'm sanding off the surface of all the drawers. Uh, you need to make sure you get all the little nicks out so that when you paint, everything looks smooth. And now that we have a nice, smooth template to work with, we're putting on our first coat of paint. Try to always go in one direction. I didn't do the best with that on this first coat here, but you always get a second chance with the second coat. So we had a bit of a snafu when we were painting. We put on the first coat, and then after it dried, we noticed it had this yellow tint to it. So we have never run across this before when we've done projects in the past. We've never painted with white before though. So we've always used other colors. There's always an answer. We went to YouTube University and found the answer. And the answer is this primer. And basically we probably should have put a primer on before to seal all of the stain from the wood. And we did do that. So that's what we think is happening. You don't have to go back and sand everything down back to the original. You can actually put the primer sealer over your first coat and then paint over a layer over it again. So anyways, here we go with this primer uh, to seal in that stain and then we'll go on with another coat. We need some more sanding paper. So head on to Lowe's. Hi. Yeah, well, there's your good morning. Hi. Um, and 
I like to get these. Uh, this is what matches mine, but it also comes with an 80, a 120, and a 220 in it. So uh, I've got multiple uses out of it. Super fast when you have new sandpaper or sandpaper that's not worn down. So last night I was really having to work the sander to try to sand this top off. And it's really not as good as the sides, but it took me like a quarter of the time to get the, all three sides fitted to just the top from last night. So um, if you have sandpaper, new sandpaper, use it. it. It will save you so much time, it's worth it. So we're gonna take out the nightstand and bring in the dresser. Now, we're not gonna put the top coat on the nightstand yet. Uh, because it's a little bit streaky with a paintbrush stroke. So we're gonna see if we can fix that before we move forward. We're actually gonna roll the dresser. So we're gonna take a different method and see if it comes out smoother than the nightstand did. So here we go. Since we had the yellow staining with the nightstand and we know these pieces of furniture go together, we're gonna actually put on the primer first this time so that uh, the yellow staining doesn't happen uh, when we start putting our first coat of paint on. And hopefully we'll put one less coat of paint on this than we had to do on the nightstand. It is that shellac base primer, which is gonna block stains and, and uh, seal in the stain from the wood. In addition, when I was sanding this time, I went a little bit deeper with the sanding than I did with the nightstand, hopefully to knock out more of that stain so that it doesn't bleed through. So we're going with our primer and this is a brand new roller. So it's gonna take a little bit to get some of the primer soaked in, but I recommend getting it um, all over the roller first and then rolling it up here to smooth it out over the roller so that it doesn't go on splotchy onto your wood. This just has a coat of the primer on, but it gets some weird little bumps, so I'm just sanding those out. And here goes the first coat of paint on the dresser. It's going on a lot smoother with the roller, which we're really excited about. Gonna get the hardware ready. That's right. Mm hmm. So like Todd mentioned earlier, some of the hardware on the nightstand was missing handle. So we went to this store in Charlotte called Black Lion that has a lot of funky little things like this. And we were so lucky we were able to find handles that we could fit onto the dresser and look almost identical. This is what the handles all looked like when we started. Um, it, all of them except for this one accidentally have been soaking in this vinegar and water like one to one solution and i just want to show you how we're cleaning them up so when you like literally just pull it out of the water it already looks cleaner and it literally just wipes off the majority of that gross grime just to kind of finish it off and get that vinegar and stuff off we'll soak them in water with soap and you can see like they look so much better than that original one and we're not trying to make them perfect we're going to paint them so it's just kind of getting them all cleaned up we're putting the handles on Woo! get started with your finger first it makes things a lot easier So we got the furniture loaded up and we are actually delivering these for a full price. You can see them in the background there. Anyways, uh, great sell on our first furniture flip. So we finished our first flip. Ta -da! And we are just 
just gonna go over all the numbers. We started with buying the furniture for 40 bucks. And then we obviously had our supplies to make them nice and beautiful. So our first supply was the paint. We used about a pint and a half, so we're about $33 in on the paint. We have a little bit of money, about $3-ish on primer for this project also. We got $2 all together on sandy pads. Our roller and brush uh, total were about $9.50. It ended up being $12 for the hardware. So all in on our supplies was $59.50, and then we bought the furniture for $40. So that brings us to a total of $99.50, or let's just round it off to $100 all in on this furniture. We sold it for? $260. Yes, so we're super happy with this flip. We've realized we may have listed it a little bit low because uh, we had a lot of interest and it sold on the first day. Plus we got that nice delivery fee in there for delivering it across town. Total profit of $160 on this quick flip. And now we're on to the next. If you wanna see our next flip, make sure you like this video first or comment in on it, tell us how we did. Subscribe to our page to help us out with the YouTube algorithm. I don't know what to say after hi, I'm Amy and we're Todd. <laughs> <laughs> hi, I'm Todd and, we're, and this is Amy, or how are we going to say that? Can I say my own name? Yeah.